My name is Kerry Horan. I work as the Product Marketing Manager for Sensor Components of the Omron Division. We're excited to work in the full integrated systems of smart home and building, respiratory, and medical systems. One of the new products that we're excited to release is our sensor evaluation boards. We have these available for customers to use so they can test on the fly the abilities of our sensors and how they can better integrate into their systems. We offer these in we offer these available for Raspberry Pi, Arduino, or Feather application boards. And so for example, we have a board available right here where we're actually monitoring our D6T thermal sensor, our B5W light convergence sensor, our HVC human detection monitor, our air quality sensor, and our pressure sensor, all giving us the raw data that you can see on this computer screen here. So as a customer is going over our different sensors to fully evaluate and fully see their uh, response time and the data output, we have this board available for them to test them all on the fly. So what we have here is another application of our sensor eval board. This one only measuring the D6T thermal with the 4x4 bit here. And as you can see, when I put my hand over the board uh, or over the sensor, you'll see in the grid where we have the 4x4 temperature reading, in the grid where, we, where you'll see uh, each of the 16 spots where it's reading temperature, the boxes will turn red because of the high temperature of my hand versus the temperature of the environment in the expo. So another industry that Omron is heavily involved in is our gaming and entertainment industry. So we have these two pieces here, which go into uh, different glass and plastic displays for signage or for gaming, for gaming machines such as slot machines, pachinko. We also have uh, buttons like these, again, for display gaming purposes. Our TOF sensor is another application we're very excited about where we have a very robust design used in robotics and automation technology. Now this is giving us a very fast response time on looking at the picture in front of it and determining the distance of objects in front. So it's able to detect very readily motion as well as presence, object presence or human presence as it's approaching the narrow field of vision for it. So at Omron, we've developed a lot of different partnerships with several companies in order to fully integrate our sensors and systems into final products. So we have three large ones that we'd like to talk about here. Uh, first, we have our open source technology here available on GitHub that we've developed with Intel. Now, as a customer purchases one of our sensors that you see here in this display, they can, download, they can download our sample codes from GitHub so that they are able to easily test and integrate our code and our sensor capabilities into their system to develop a full product that they can use. Another partnership that we have here is with Cassia, which is a local San Jose based company. We have these sensors here, our environment sensors, which are capable of communicating with a system using Bluetooth technology. But with this router, they're able to boost that signal from only several feet within the home to hundreds or even thousands of feet so that people can be able to get the data that they need no matter where they're located. So one of the main industries that we're looking to approach with Omron is our smart home and building technologies. We want to use our sensors and fully integrated systems to establish a comfort comfortable living environment at home or in the office. One of the ways that we're approaching this is using our D6T thermal sensor. Now our thermal sensors are able to give uh, good feedback and, or good instant feedback of, temp of surface temperature readings of objects that pass in front of it. So for example, with this sensor using our one by eight setup, as I wave my hand in front of it, you can see in real time the changes as my hand passes over the sensor. Another way we're approaching this is using our seismic sensor that we have in this model home. Now the seismic sensor is using the acceleration data to determine if the motion is severe enough that an earthquake has been detected. So for example, as you get into a low vibration, you're not getting as much of a reading. But as we get into medium and high, you'll see the intensity of the vibration spike rapidly, giving us, uh, giving us a reading that an earthquake may have occurred. Now these can be integrated into a full system to attach with fuel lines or gas lines so that if a severe enough earthquake is detected, those lines can be cut off and prevent any further damage. Uh, lastly, what we'd like to look at is our full environment sensor. 
These small packages are equipped with several sensors detecting temperature, humidity, light, UV, acceleration, all in one convenient package. These are also giving us all of these readings quickly on the fly. So for example, with this sensor, as I cover it with my hand, you'll see the light dip way down low, the humidity and the temperature will start to rise as my hand stays over it as it's detecting the high humidity and temperature of the environment with my hand covering it. Thank you very much for visiting the Omron booth. It was my pleasure to show you all the different components that we have to offer as we help to improve lives and contribute to a better society.